welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, my name is Yanni and uh, this is my YouTube channel. I know you don't know me yet, but feel free to subscribe because that way we can get to know each other. <laughs> so today I have for you guys a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures. Currently my Instagram looks like this. It has taken me quite a while to get it to look like this. I have been working really really hard to get it to look like this. It took a lot of trial and error but I think I've narrowed it down to the point where I can say I get it. I can share with you guys my tips and my tricks of how I edit my Instagram feed to have a vintage kind of moody theme to it because you know it's all about the Instagram theme. Oh Nelly. And hello if you guys are not following me on Instagram. Bye. Go follow me on Instagram because <laughs> I've been working really hard on my feed and I would really love it if you guys come show me some love. I will be following some of you guys back and also liking your pictures as well if you guys show some love on my Instagram. If you guys have any tips and tricks for me, let me know in the comment section because I will gladly take up. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it useful and make sure you share it with a friend. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. First of all, let's just ignore the fact that my nails are a little ratchet. I did get a manicure, but um, apparently they never last. Instagram. So this is what my current Instagram looks like. Moody, kind of monochromatic, very dark-ish. So the process that I'm gonna be showing you guys right now, it might seem a little obsessive and like overly like complicated to a lot of you guys, but Personally, to me, I really enjoy doing this. So the first thing I do before I even post on Instagram is to figure out what I'm gonna post. So three main apps that I use is ViscoCam, Facetune, and Snapseed. First thing I do is go to ViscoCam. Right now, my Instagram is like up to here. This is the last photo I posted this morning. So what I like to do is kind of like start gridding all of my photos to see like where, like which ones I wanna post when to make it look like all cohesive. This is the one that I'm going to be editing with you guys today. When usually when my photos have a lot of like red or um, overly saturated things, I will first go, is go to Snapseed. And what's cool about Snapseed is that you can kind of pick and choose what you want to um, desaturate. So I'm gonna open that image. There's this little brush tool right here. And I basically just kind of zoom in and go to the saturation and then I go down like negative five. I don't like to desaturate it too much because then I just have a black and white photo, like what's the point? So all I really do is I just start brushing like the areas that I think are a little too saturated for me, like take out all that red and give it like a really kind of vintage -y, desaturated vibe. And this takes a while, guys. Like, I will be here just for like 20 minutes just wiping these colors out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I tap this little button up here. It's gonna show me like what it used to look like. Now, it doesn't look bad like this, but that's not the look that I'm going for. Save it. I think I'm gonna bunk up the saturation on my shoe because in real life it's actually a brighter burgundy. So perfect. So I'm gonna go to saturation and go to like plus five because plus 10 is way too extreme. Zoom it in and go ahead and bunk up the saturation. I'm just gently gonna swipe because I don't wanna like overdo it. I'm actually go back to the brush tool and instead of saturation this time I'm going to use the exposure tool and expose it 0.3 right here because I don't want to overdo it because I'm not going for a bright theme I'm just, I just want to like make these details pop right here make the shoe just a little bit brighter before and this is the after so you can see like about out the detail a little bit more on the shoe and I'm going to export it Go back to my visco cam so I can edit it with the filters that I'm gonna put on visco cam. Now, this is the reason why I hate visco cam. Like, okay, so if I add it back in the photo, I can't, like, this is the photo that I edited. Now, when I add it back in, it pushes it all the way to the top here and I kind of lose my grid situation. So, the only way that I can get this photo back over here so I can see what my layout is gonna look like is by deleting these photos and it's really annoying I can't move this around I, I don't know if there's a way to move it around but I don't think there is so 
I like to see my feed cohesively as of the next post, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two, those, and keep this one here. Now, I don't wanna square this photo because I'm probably gonna post it on Instagram as this, and then if I wanted to see what Instagram, like what my full profile is gonna look like, I can quickly just crop it to see like what it's gonna look like when people go to my page like as a as a whole now what I'm gonna do is put a filter on it so the filter that I've been using is HB2 and this one just makes it like super super moody as you can see I never go full-on moody like I'll just take a little bit down no it's all like playing it by eye see like what looks good so for me personally, I don't want it to look super, super dark, but I want to give it like that moody. And sometimes there's certain things that I want to make darker and some certain things that I want to make brighter. So I put on the Visco Cam filter and I kind of adjust it to what I like. Um, I go in and usually sharpen my image to make sure that it's nice and sharp, save it, and then see how it pairs against the rest of my kind of theme here. So. Usually, I like the background to be darker than myself, and right now it looks like the background is brighter than me. So I want my body to stand out more than the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. Oh. I'm going to go back again to Snapseed. I know, I know, it's such a process, but I swear the gratification of when you post an amazing photo is just like, oh. Um, now I want to touch up all the rest of the details. So. I actually want to make my background a little darker, so I'm going to go into the brush tool. I'm going to go to the exposure and I'm going to bunk it down to like 0 0.03 or 0 0.3, whatever. It's going to darken like this right here, like the background. Um, just because I don't want it to stand out so much, I want it to be like a little bit darker. So now you see why I darkened the background so that my body can stand out a little bit more. Just check the photo to see if I'm happy with how it looks export this photo go to phase two now because I want to make my I want to make the details in my outfit kind of show a little bit more and that's why I didn't do the structure on the other app in a phase two you can actually select specific tools that you want to use to kind of touch up any specific spots of the photo that you're working on the details tool to just bring out the details and like my face, just make it show a little bit better. Jacket, shoes, digging it. So basically just keep playing around with it and see what looks good. At this point, I could blur the background if I wanted to. Just defocus, less focus on the background. So if I gently just swipe it, it'll like blur out the background. This is the background blurred. So that is pretty much the final photo. So now I'm gonna save it. Now I'm gonna go back to Visco Cam, import that photo. It's gonna look like this. All right, so that is pretty much it. Pretty much happy with how it all looks and how it like jives with the rest of my feed. So yeah, that is pretty much it. This photo is now fully edited and I will post this on my Instagram. And voila, that is how I edit my Instagram photos. Pretty much share with you guys all of my Instagram photo editing secrets. Sometimes the process is much longer depending on the photo. Each photo is a little bit different, um, but essentially I go through those basic steps and kind of play around with it. So those were my Instagram tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. I hope this was useful for you guys. And hopefully this video does not give you OCD with your Instagram theme like it has done to me. I'm sorry. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.